We start with Cyclone, the skipping car. This might seem like it's frivolous, but it's not. This is genius. It could solve a lot of problems with parking. This video completely perplexes me. I don't understand how a car is able to jump rope. To find out more, we travel to San Antonio, Texas to meet Gilbert Gonzalez, Cyclone's creator. A lot of people have said, it can't be real, there's no way. Uh, it's gotta be Photoshop. I've seen a lot of cars, I've built a lot of cars, but I've never seen a car that could skip rope like this. We try to do things differently by showing the impossible can be possible. Yes, Gilbert's modified car can jump nearly 12 feet in the air. So how can a car jump that high? Gilbert has done three things. First of all, he's reinforced the frame of the car. Second, he's taken the engine out so the car's as light as possible. The third thing he's done is to replace the traditional suspension springs with air springs. You can think of those like rubber bags that you can fill with air, which will lift the car up, and take the air out, which will lower the car down. The next thing he put on board is eight air tanks. What they are is they're all connected to the air springs with valves that he controls with a remote control. When he opens the valves on the air tanks, all the air rushes in really quickly into the air springs. So what's gonna happen is these springs are gonna fill with air very quickly. They're gonna push down against the ground. The ground's not going anywhere. The ground's gonna push back and the car's gonna leap into the air. Once the car lands, the weight of the car pushes the air out of the air springs through non-return exhaust valves. This means the car's ready to jump again in about one point three seconds, which makes it perfect for skipping. I wonder how Gilbert's going to sell this car. He's going to have to say it's had one crazy owner and it's not a good runner at all, it's a good skipper.